welcome to fmtraining.tv. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. I'm here at the wonderful Nick Hunter. Uh, Nick is one of our long-standing senior engineers and has been with us for a few years now uh, and has been doing live streams for almost as long. Uh, he is a fantastic live stream uh, trainer. We cover a whole huge variety of topics. We're covering a really interesting one now, which I'll bring up in our training schedule. We do do this five days a week, pretty much outside of specific or extenuating circumstances. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're here from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Generally, sometimes we go a little longer, uh, but for an hour er every day, guaranteed, we here talk about the wonderful FileMaker platform and all the really cool things you can do with it. Uh, Nick is a real master of pushing it to its absolute limits. Speaking of which, we're talking about advanced multi-criteria filters. We're on day five today. That being rounded out. Nick, what are we doing today? Hello, Marge. Hello, everybody. So welcome to this channel. And uh, so today we do uh, a little bit of uh, UI stuff, you know. So I want to explain uh, some rules about design and, uh, and, and how the design can help you fix issues, you know. So, you know, because what, most of the time, when you have a functional problem, it's because you don't have the UI, okay? So, um, and we need to we need to build the UI to make it to make the UI behave in a standard, right? In the same time, we need to use the design to help the user interact and understand what happened, right? So it's uh, uh, it's very important. So. And it's not that complicated, just, um, you know, we need to use, so so pretty much uh, when, when you have, uh, a, when you use a technique to do something, right? Uh, the, you need to have the UI that fits the technique, okay? So um, don't try to do the technique to fit the design because, um, it won't work. Most of the time, the design is easier to bend to fit the technique instead of, you know, bending the technique to fit the design. If you if you are uh, uh, if you are in the situation where uh, you need to modify your your technique because the design, that means the design is wrong. Okay, or sometimes both are wrong. So that's the difficulty when you get a, a technique uh, and a design and they're both wrong, you will never achieve anything. And that's why you come here, because here we fix that for you. You know, in this channel, we uh, we came with our techniques and most of the time we have a design that fits the technique. OK, so we come with the, the world package. Right? So let me share my screen right quick and uh, uh, try to explain what I'm talking about. So here, um, so here we you, we have a typical new design that I built, you know, the, I call that the more office design. Okay, so um, it's, uh, it's, it's a very, uh, you know, new, uh, all the all the application, all the websites, everything is, is going that way, you know? So we have a white background, one, you know, our accent color, like here, the blue, right? And uh, and, and that's it. And we don't go uh, more than this. We try to uh, remove what not necessary, okay? So if it's not necessary, you remove it, you know? You take it out from your design, okay? So uh, I'm, we use uh, Zoom uh, internally, and this is what Zoom looks like, okay? So, so you can see you have uh, uh, you have a very uh, uh, most so, most of the of most of the design looks the same. Real right? quick, Nick, uh, yes. we can't see the way that Zoom works is because you're sharing your screen. It automatically hides all the Zoom UI, so it can't interfere. Oh, uh, okay. So, let me, uh, oh, okay. Sorry. So we can't yeah, see yeah, anything yeah. that you're explaining. So okay. So let me do. Uh, let me have a screenshot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is Zoom. Yes. There we go. Okay. That's a Zoom app. Okay. 
So you can see uh, it looks the same, right? So it, I, I mean, it looks uh, very similar to what I, to what I'm doing, you know. <laughs> What background? So uh, I didn't even know about this uh, when I invent this. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I'm following, uh, you know, design guidelines. I'm following designers. I'm following many people, and uh, and I'm following the new uh, leading, you know, the direction in which all the designer and all the uh, developers going. You know, so of course we go. Or we go, we go all to the same, uh, you know, to uh, on the same to the same direction. So we come with the same paradigms and the same uh, the same conclusion, right? So uh, it's not that we copy each other; it's that we follow the same guideline. Okay. So um, so of course we go we go uh, to the same uh, we arrive to the same conclusion. Uh, as we, you know, as we evolve with the time. So the goal is to remove everything that is not necessary. Okay. You know, remember we had this discussion about design, um, about labels, for example. You know, I know the boss likes label all over the place, you know. Name. Okay. Uh, you know, first name, Nick. Last name, Hunter. Uh, start date, a start time 5 p.m. end time 6 p.m. you know so or everything has a label no like here i have a good example okay so what i was saying about the design okay what is this this is a title how we know that because it's on top of the page okay it's bold it's big uh it cannot be you know the recipe of uh, of uh, grandma, grandma's cookie right and what is this? Okay, uh, we are in the upcoming meetings. So of course, this, obviously, it's from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. I don't need to, to say that, right? But if I put this number alone without a label, what can be, you know, if I'm hiding this, you know, so, uh, let's let's do this. If I'm hiding this, uh, not this one. Uh, if I'm hiding this, okay. What is number? If I hide this, what is this? I have no idea what this is. This I know what it is. You know, this I know what it is by just looking at it. I know this. I but this I don't. So. We put a label because it needs it here. You know, here it's mandatory. We need to have this and we have here too. Okay. So that, and that is the, 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 the pretty much the, the rule here, right? So I can close this. Uh, the rule is to remove what not necessary. Okay. When it is necessary to have a label, for example, here we need to know what this is. You know, uh, of course, I cannot do that um, uh, for everything. You know, I cannot remove all of the thing, right? So, but I put the labels, right? But they are not prominent. The, the labels cannot be... Um, as big as the data, right? Because otherwise it, it, it adds confusions, okay? So that's why we put a small, okay? Uh, and, uh, and, and then we can see what it is, but it's not overwhelming, uh, you know, it's not crushing the design by having this. Sometimes I'm seeing the opposite. Sometimes I saw, I saw something like, the label is big like this, and the data is big like this. You know, it doesn't make any sense, right? What uh, what is important is the data. It's not the label. Not important. Okay. So we have pretty much the same, uh, you know, the same here. Like for example, here, you know, when you have a lot of things like this, this is how you do. Okay. So 
that was for the label. That was for the uh, general talking about the design, right? But here, uh, we have an interaction. It's an interaction with the user, okay? So, and it needs to be clear enough to immediately know what happened, okay? So here, visually, I know that I can click on this, you know? I can click on this. So let's, what happened when I click on this? Boom, okay? Immediately, I know this is activated. Deactivate, activated, deactivate, activated, okay. So, and following my action of clicking it disappears. Okay, so I have a visual connection that this, this field is connected to this. So this is connected to, to county. Okay, so this here is not like the address of the guy, it's the county. You know, you know what I mean? I don't need a label. Okay, I don't need a label because the label is the button itself. I click, right? I click, right? I click. It takes some time here. Not much, I hope. Uh, I click, I click, I click, I click. Okay. So not only I have a visual, a clear, obvious visual that this is activated. That means this will now be counted in my filter, you know? And those, no. But those, yes. Okay. And I know visually that this, right? Or this, or this, or this is um, related to the to the button in front. So that the state class code, conclusion code, docket number, assigned to county, right? Okay, so that is the first visual. The thing and thing is this, how we put defaults, you know, how we select the defaults. When you click here, I have a number coming. I have a name coming here. When I click here, I have a, I have a, you know, a name coming, something coming here. I click here, I have something coming. Okay. So what happened if I go to something else? I'm going to, uh, let's go to this one. If I go to my filter and I click here, oh, now it's come four band. Yeah, but when I was clicking here, it was clicking Harris. Why? Because I am sitting right now in the record where I have Harris as a county. If I click here, by default, I want the county of the sitting record. If I go there, I am sitting in a county, in a, in a record where the county is for band, so the default is for band. And you understand now, the default will be this and this. So now the default on this will be 20, uh, 202, 75, 83. If I go there, you know, and I click here, it comes with this. Okay? Still not a sign because it's not a sign and, and this. And the conclusion code is this. If I go there, the conclusion code will be different because I am taking as a default the data of the sitting record, okay? That for the default when you have an interaction. For example, this is a commercial and this is residential, right? So the default data that you put in your filter, you know, because more likely, Let's say you here and you say, okay, oh, show me the conclusion code the same as this one, right? 
or show me the county of this one. Or we can say, show me for the county of this one, the, the conclusion code both together. Or show me uh, the same, only the commercial, right? So you, you understand what I mean? So by default, I'm putting there the, the, the data of the sitting record because it's, it's, it's a good start. And you are fixing another problem, okay, of if, if I do this, if I do something like this, if I do something like this, click, 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 right? If I do this, I am sure to have at least one record. Oh, I don't have one. Why? Uh, oh, this one. No, why? I should have one record. I should have the, the sitting record. I don't know why. Uh, which one is the one that... Is, oh, the docket number. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So if I do this, 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 I ignore the docket number. Docket number is special. So uh, I, I'm sure to have at least one record. I have more than one, but I'm, I'm sure to have something because I am putting there the default of this. The docket number is, is special. Uh, I'm sure to have at least something. Okay? So you're taking care of many things. First, you have this visual, right? Very cool visual. And the default comes with the data you have from, you know. So how that works, okay? Let's work first on the appearance, disappearance of, of the, the visual, okay? Appearance, disappearance, how that works. Remember, first I'll show you, that by default, by default, when everything, when something is, let's clear this. By default, everything is one. One, 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 one. Everything is one, 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 like this, okay? Correct? So, if when I don't want the filter to be activated, okay, if, the, if that one, 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 so now I have my UI system doing. My, uh, my, no, I have my UI working. So what is the UI? Okay. How I'm hiding this block. Right, just say the filter equal one. That means if it's if the filter equal one, that means I don't want it. Same for all of them. Equal one, equal one, equal one, equal one. Right, all of them. See, filter state filter equal one. State class equal one. Equal one. This one equal one, 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 one. They're all the same. Okay. When I say one, that means I want to reset my filter. That means I want to disengage that filter. Okay. So I rely on this. When the content of this is one, I don't want to show it. Okay. I can show you. So I remove the here the hidden condition. So now it's one. Harris one. Harris one. So when it's one, I want this to be hidden, right? So far so good. So we 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 took care of this of this UI showing hiding. Okay. So I can put back in place. And the same for this. Okay. So here I have two 
I already showed that I have multiple objects here. Okay. I have this, I have this, and I have this. The background is static. This is the default, right? This is always there, okay? Then I have this hiding showing because this is part when it's activated, I want this drop, the inner drop shadow inside to, to symbolize that the button's pressed, okay? And then I have on top of this, I have the name, which is the actual button. This is not a button, this is just a shape. This is a shape, right? And this is the button where I have the action. And on the button, right, I have here, an icon, the check mark, the check mark. By default, the icon is transparent. I don't show it by default. It's the icon transparent, right? And the text is gray by default. But then I have a conditional formatting taking over saying that if the, the global field that this rely on, if it's different than one, right? Then I want the text to be black and the icon to be black. So it's very simple. The conditional formatting is simple. If, the, if this field is not one, then that means it's activated. Otherwise, leave it normal. Leave it natural. Leave it, like I said right now, like you see it in the, um, uh, in the, in the, bra in the layout mode. You know? That's why you want your default, the default always the inactive state, not the active state. The default is always the inactive state, right? So now I took care of this. So here, this also the same is based on this. So now I want this. I want to show when it's not one. When it's not one, this I, I want to hide when it's one. It's the opposite of this. Because the conditional formatting applies, you say, I want this. And this, I don't want this. You know, this is, I want to show when it's different to one. And this is, I want, I don't want to see it if it's equal one. Okay. But the same principle, you know, it is the same principle. So here I have a little trick for you. Browse in layout mode, we can see the sample. Okay. Right? We can see sample. Let's say I want to see how this behave. I want to work on layout mode, right? But I want to see as if this was active, OK? If you show the sample data, oh, yeah, but no, because it's a global field. Ah, OK, yeah, I, it normally should have see the, it could have a display the, the status uh, here in the lay, but it's because it's, uh, it's a global field. Anyway, I forget about it, but anyway, um, you know, you, this is how you handle this, you know, uh, for the very simple, you cannot have, okay. You cannot have something complicated here. Otherwise you will be super slow, you know, because you have a lot of calculation here. So it needs to be 
um, straightforward. This equal this. This doesn't equal. You know, it should. It has to be very, 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 very uh, straightforward. You know, don't go uh, if this and that and uh, uh, you know two two billion uh, uh, records count two billion record. No, no, no. It needs to be very straightforward. Otherwise, each time you click on this popover, you have the spinning wheel for five minutes. And you don't want that to happen, okay? So it needs to be straightforward. And I cannot be more straightforward than this because this is a global field. It's a global field. It's uh, it's the fastest possible, okay? And equal one, you know? You understand? So it's very, very straightforward. So now, uh, if we don't have any question, I don't see any. Nope, we're pretty much... No questions at the moment, so. Okay, okay. So how are the scripts? So this is a, the trickiest part, okay. I don't want a script for each button. You know, uh, it's, it's very, no, you know, we don't want that. But neither I can have one script for all, okay. So I analyze the situation and I say, okay, I have three types of filters. The first type, those where you have, uh, where you have a, a filter and a field, right? So those are one type, right? Those are one type. Then you have another type, right? Where is this one or this one? You know, like kind of a yes, no. Okay, this one or this one, this one or this one. You know, so if I click here, we'll deactivate this. But if I click this, it will deactivate that. You know, so this is a second type of filter that I have, okay? This one, this one, right? So those are, and this, they're the same, okay? They're the same, they're the same type. Click, you know, okay, active and active, okay? This, you click and you can select something here. And here, the third is when you have a custom range. I mean, when you have a date from this time, from this date to this date, then we have a third. So I have three different scripts, right? I have the 2012, I have the C, the D, and the E, okay? And I have the F, I don't remember if I use that one, but it's okay. So the A, so that means also here a good naming, a good naming, okay? Very good naming. For all about filters, all what is about the filter, all of this and this, okay? And this, they're all 2012, okay? So if I go there, the script in this button here is 2012A. This one here is 2012B. This one here is 2012C. This one here, 2012F, or the famous F. F, this one here. 2012E and this one here should be the 2012 something if you want to open it. Uh, button setting. 2012C. Yeah. So I am using those scripts. So if I call 2012, I have all of them. All the script here, even this one, okay? So everything that is about 
filter, I named them 2012. Oh, that's the D we have, yeah. Right? This, this, all of them. So when you go to your uh, script workspace, easier, you have all of them. You know, you type 2012, that's the filters. Okay? You have no, you don't need to chase them. Okay? And then you have a letter. Okay? So let's take care of the first. So what about the first? Okay? Okay. So uh, the idea is to make the most universal possible, okay? So this is an option that I keep, I keep carrying um, since a long time, but I don't remove it because sometimes it can be useful. It's the portal name, uh, you know, if I need to refresh a portal, okay? But it's not necessary, but sometimes it could be helpful. This here, okay, is the field uh, I need to um, to target. Okay, so let's 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 see the here the the thing here. Okay, so the key I, I call sort is sort sort slash filters. Okay. It's for both, okay? It's sort slash filters. It's for the same kind of block. So that's why I said sort key and stuff like this, okay? Uh, it's for both of them, okay? The key, you know, is this, you know? Is the, 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 the third parameter. So let's take care of this. Uh, yeah. This is easier. Okay. So pretty much, uh, if, okay. I have a portal name, but in that case, it's not, it's not necessary. It's just in case I need to do something. It's just in case, you know, I, I can put here the, uh, the, the name of a portal. This is a field where I want the button to set something. Okay, so this button here, this button here is going to modify the J underscore county filter. So in my parameter, I said, go modify this field. Okay. And then I'm saying what I want to put inside, correct? What I want to put inside. And here I said this, if the content of this field equal one, okay? In that case, I want the county, okay? Correct? So in that case, I want the county. I want the county that is inside this parcel. You remember I said, okay, that's the default. That means if it's equal one, that means if it's not initiated, I want the county. Otherwise, leave it alone. That means leave it what inside, okay? And then I said, okay, I'm collecting all the information here, okay? But sometimes, okay, here I have only three parameters. You know, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, I have only three. Okay. But here I can collect four. Yeah, it's this script, I can use it for multiple purposes. So sometimes I have. I need this, sometimes I don't, okay? It depends. So uh, if I don't have anything, this won't happen, you know, the sort type. 
So I'm taking whatever the value, okay, the field name, the field content, and I'm taking I'm doing kind of a, a, a test here, okay, to know what happened. Okay. So I'm collecting all the information based on, on those uh, viable. I'm collecting what inside. So let me let me uh, debug it. This is better if I debug. Okay. When I click, I get the parameters. Don't 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 don't. Okay, so that my parameters. Now you know each time I'm coming with this. Why I want? Uh, I'm I'm collecting all the parameters in a variable because now I can see them all. I can debug. I can debug. Otherwise, I need to go there. I need to go there. I need to say get uh, script parameters. It's not the same. Here is clean. I know this is a field. This is a key. What is in, what inside the data? And this is a portal name, but the portal name we don't care. Okay. So pretty much the script is doing this. Modify that field and put that in that field, correct? Okay. And then I have a sort field by name, okay? So the sort field by name, I say, okay, this is the name of the field, remember? The name of the field. And here is whatever the field is. Here I have another time the field, the name field, because I need to know that in that calculation. Why? Because I want to extract the field content. What is there? I need to know what's there. You know, so I'm getting the field content, right? And then I'm doing. Uh, you know, a test is the field content different than one. You know, I need to know that. Okay. If it's different than one. And then I have a very simple test here, very, very, very simple if, if this is not, if it is not one, I want one. Otherwise, put whatever I want here. So why I'm doing this, okay? So why I'm doing all of this? Because this, this, I click. If I click again, right? It will be different than one, then you put one. Here, I want the content, I want the, I want the county. But if it's there, if it's activated, I want one. Okay, so let let's let's take this calculation here. Uh, actually, I can uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's debug that calc. Okay. Go debugger, I click, and I do this. OK, so now we can see that calc. Here, I clicked here. It was empty. That means the, the field content, it's one. I have one in my field right now. Right now, in that field, I have one. Proof of it, in that field here, if I go 
this, the, the J county equal one. So the, in the calc, I need to do this, you know? So why I'm doing all of this? Okay, why you don't do this, Nick? Why you don't do this? Why you don't do this? I don't want this. I can't. Why? Because this calc is for any fields. I cannot put the name of the field here. The name of the field is there. Right? So, to get the content of a calculated field, that's why we have the get field. Right? We need this. You know, because I need the content, because if I do, okay, let me, let me explain. This is a field name, correct? Right? It's the field name, but I don't want the field name. I want the content of the field name, right? So we do this, get field of the field name, and it's one. Because if I use this, I have the field name, good, great, but it's not what I want. I need the field name, I need to connect, to collect this in order to put this field name inside the get field. Get field is, for the, is, is meant for that. When you have a calculated field name, you need the get field to say, I want the content of that field. Because I could have done this. Look. I copy this. I can do this. Get field. And I can put that, you know, as a text. So that means get field of that name. But I got the name from the parameter. This is my name from the parameter. The parameter give me the name. And in this, so when, and it's unpredictable. It could be any names. It could be any names. Because that scripts, I cannot do, I cannot go there and say, you know, I, I cannot say uh, G, J, County. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's not just for this one. This script works for all of those, okay? So that's why we use the get field. So now you know why we I have this calculation here. I collect the name of the field, the content of the field, and here I say, okay, this is the name of the field. This is the content of the field right now. Tell me if the content of the field right now is equal to one or not. If it's not equal to one, I want you to put one because I want to reset. I want to reset the filter. That means there's something. So if you click and there's something, that means you want to reset. If you click and the content is one, that means you want to activate it. You know, you know this is what this do. Here I have one in my filter. I click. The calculation will say, okay, I know there's one here, so you want this. So you say, okay, Nick, why you didn't do uh, if, you know, in the script, like this, if uh, get field of the, of the, you know, of the uh, field uh, like this, uh, uh, you know, different that one. Why you don't do this? Because this is freaking, 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 freaking slow. You know, you don't need, we don't need a script for that. Okay. No, in the calc, I decided what I want in the calc. I don't want to extract this outside, right? 
It's the car. This is not good. This is so super, super slow. This is fast. Okay. So following the same, right? I can activate, deactivate, activate, deactivate, you know, activate, deactivate. You know, I can do it like this based on the script parameters. So the script parameter is is deciding, you know, for me. I'm sending to the script and the script do this job. So here I have different different data, you know. And I can make some pre-calculation values before to send to the to the parameter. For example, here I just want the counting by default. The default is the counting. Not the default. Okay. But here or here, right? I want more things. Right? So I want to take something from a value list. Here, I have a value list here, OK? The value list is states class codes. This is my value list, OK? So I want this, right, to say, OK, this is the name of, um, of my value list. Get me the value, all the value of this value list. Okay, so this works like this. Look, the value list is this. So let's comment out this for now. This is my list. This is a value list. This is what the value list state class code takes. Okay. Correct? Okay. This is my field. Okay. I have A1 in that field. And then I said, okay. Okay. If the field is empty, I want the default. Okay. You understand? I want the default. That means I want this. The, actually, I have a bug here, but it's okay. Uh, otherwise, so that means I want to be able. Actually, yeah, uh, here I have a bug. You know, let's fix it. Uh, yeah. Okay. The default is this. This is default. OK. So I'm saying if the rec, if when I click here, when I click in state code, OK, if the record I'm, I'm, I, I am in doesn't have state code, sometimes, uh, you know, I don't have state code here. You know, I don't have the, the, the record doesn't have state code. So I want the first in the I want the first in that list. I want the first in that list. So whatever the, this list will be, I want the first. That's my default. Okay. And here I'm saying if this that means the, the, the field is empty. Put the default. Put put the one return that list. Otherwise, I want the one in the field. I, I want the one there. If it's empty, I want the default. Okay. So I want to do this before to send to my parameter. So I'm doing this, and then I'm sending my parameters. Okay. You understand? So it's easier. So I. So I prepare, so I can have, I can have different calculation. And here for the state code, 
for the conclusion code, the same. I'm doing the same, and here I have the same, the same bug. I want the first value. So here the same for the conclusion code. I want the defaults. And if it's empty, if I don't, that, that means if I don't have conclusion code, put the default. Okay. So I might have the same bug here. Yeah. Get value. The same here. So you see, I have a difference, but I am doing this at the level of the parameter. I'm not doing this, you know, uh, get value. Okay. Right? So I'm doing this, but the script's the same. Then I don't have to alter my scripts, you know? The, I'm doing that at the parameter level, and then I don't have to alter the scripts. So those, this is one script. So let's work on another one. This one, the F. It's a Boolean. Okay. So it's very simple. It's yes, no. But the magic happened on this. Okay. So I'm sending to my parameters two things. Okay. So let's uh, present that correctly. Here, I have, uh, I want the name of the field that this filter is going to uh, activate. Okay, that's the name. And I have some uh, condition here. If the, the fiduciary info filter, that means the filter that is there equal one, or the fiduciary info filter different than Renbold, that means I want Renbold. Otherwise, I want one. This is the condition. So the, then when I send to the script, it set this field with the result of this. Correct? And the one here, it's the same, right? So let's do the same cleaning. I might have forgot about this, right? So, okay, so I am modifying the same, it's the same filter, right? So those two buttons goes to the same filter, but one I put other and the other one I put Renbold, correct? So it's the same filter. It's the same field. I'm going to the same field, the fiduciary info filter. Both of them goes to the same field, right? So, and I'm putting in the field different values. No. Fiduciary. Okay. 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 So when I click here, I put Renbold. If I put here, I put other. If I click again, one, other, one, click, one, click, one. So that means if it's one, 
I put Reinbold. If it's Reinbold, I put one. This is what this calculation does, you know, to to be able to engage, disengage, engage, disengage by clicking on the button. So now you know why the UI is so important. If you don't have a UI with a, with a button that show, don't show, show, don't show, hide, don't hide. If you don't have a button like this and you just have a filter and you want to clear the filter, you have a clear button or whatever you need to, it's a nightmare. It, it will never work, you know? It need to be, you need a remote control and you don't need to show all this one, you don't, okay? Because it's, it's ugly, ugly and it doesn't, it doesn't work, you know? So, the, so we have one script that do that, right? And this is here, right? If this and this, I want Renbolt. Okay. Otherwise, I want one. So if this, if the if this equal one, it goes Renbold because I said equal one. If it's not equal one, I put one. That what the if do. So he put one, put one like this. Okay. Then we have the same for agreed value, not agreed value. Is the same is the same principle, right? It's the same principle, uh, you know, but it's simpler here because uh, I, I have one condition, you know. Uh, if data equal agreed, I want one. Otherwise, put agreed. If it's agreed, I want one. If it's one, put agreed. Right? It's what this go. It's what this do. It's the same, and here I have the same. Right, but he said not agreed to the same filter. But at any time, I'm showing the filter, not showing. It's uh, yes, you know, click, you know. Visually, in, it's much more beautiful than having a, a you know, a, a value like this, right? Because if you have If you have no, if you have just this, let's say you have your filters is only a succession of this. And you want to clear this and you want this to become one. Okay, you say one, you know, you put one. So, so the user must know this need to be one. And then we say one, 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 one. You will show one, 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 one because you cannot hide the field if it's one. Because if it's hidden, how you will input your data? Uh, you got a point here. How you will if you say okay, if it's one, sh don't show. Yeah, but how I want to input my stuff is not there. Okay, so let's let's see let's. Display one 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 one. Oh, that looks very good. That that looks professional. That looks very professional. You say you to your customer, yeah, put one here, and that will ignore the the filter. Oh, yeah, good job. That's super pro, super professional. Thank you, RCC. You bill me two hundred dollar now to do that. Right? No, this is not good. You need a UI. I don't want this. 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 Okay. Or I want this one with this. Okay. Or I want this with this. Right. Fine. Apply. You know. Oh, I have nothing. You understand? So uh, you, you cannot leave your your users say, okay, yeah, put one here. You know, yeah, put one here and that will uh, ignore, you know, the, the, the filter. What the heck is this, right? So, and this is clear because you know, check, check, not check, not check, not check, not, you know, you know, it's simple. I reinitiate, I reinitiate, I want this or this, 
this Odyss, this Odyss. You don't need to see, you know, you, you don't need something like this here. A agree, not agree. What the heck is this? You know, no, agree. I want agree. I want the final value. I want not as, you know, apply. That's it, right? So it's very, very simple to have a UI like this. Uh, the the hidden condition is based on those one, 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 not one. So this is showing because it's not one. If I put one, it's not showing. You understand? Right? And it's fast. Why? I don't even have, did you notice that I don't even have a little flicker? I don't have a click. No, it's boom, 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 boom. You know, I don't have, why? Because my script is like, you know, this. Boom. That's it. You know? Do you understand? It's very clear. It's very simple. Uh, here the same. I have this, you know, I'm collecting this, but that doesn't take any time, and I'm setting one field. Right. And this is different. This is... Uh, this uh, okay. I explain you what this is. So, when you build something like this, you know, and, and obviously, you know, you have this, this stuff here. You know, like this. You don't click. Okay. You click here. Right. Okay. So, you click. Sometime it happened that you have a, you know, something that is not working well, you know, and you put a bandaid on the crack. This is the bandaid on the crack. This, okay. Uh, but I don't even know uh, if I need that again or not. You know, it's it's because those things, you know, because it's uh, if it's empty, this. Blankets. Oh, yeah, the, the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's because of this stuff here. Uh, I, I had some problem here. I need to reset the field all the time. So it's okay. Um, forget about this. But sometime you are allowed. Uh, I have a visual glitch here. Uh, you are allowed to do this. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. The script fits for everybody. Okay. But reset that, you know, because sometimes it can happen that, you know, uh, you have a problem. Uh, yeah. I need, a, I need 15 here. So do we have any question? Okay. There is a question on, there's questions on Discord. So what is the get related record from type? It's just kind of asking, uh, David has like a picture of it on Discord, if you can look at Discord really fast. Okay, Otherwise, yeah, yeah. I can send it to you. No, no, it's okay. I can, I can open it. Where did you get that from my file? Because that's the name of the relationship. Yeah, it's, it's this. It's, uh, uh, it's when you go to the scripts uh, and you say, go to a record and you say from whatever. Can be this, can be this, you know. It can be from type, you know. It's, it's the name of the of your of your table of your occurrence. <laughs> cool. Uh, next question, Nick. What is the hide condition you have on the yellow button, menu six? That is obviously a popover. Do you yeah. Have okay. Object? So that is okay. I agree with the boss on this. It's a pain in the butt, something I build. It's an abomination I build. Sometimes sometime I, I do that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it, it, it happened. It happened. I want the popover to look like this. I don't want the, I don't want any, you know, uh, what's the name? I don't want any, um, I get there. Uh, arrow, you know, I don't want any arrow 
on this. Uh, I just want my my popover, you know, to to show uh, with a nice background like this. Okay, so this is the abomination I built uh, because oh yeah, I, I moved it and now it's, it's crazy. Uh, so what did I do here? Okay, this is a popover. So if I click here, you will see the, the popover and I can put it back at it was. This is a natural popover, right? It's a natural popover. You have the, the arrow, right? With the arrow here, that's a natural popover, okay? So the popover is actually here. It's not there, it's here. So I position my popover where I want the popover to show. I want the popover to start here. And at the same time, I want my own close button that the, the natural popover doesn't have. They have the close button on browse mode, but they don't have the close button like this on uh, uh, they are on layout mode, but not on browse mode. So I build my own popover, right? Without uh, the background of the popover. And this is a shape. It's a shape on the popover. So the popover is transparent. Everything transparent, you know? This is a popover, but I put it transparent. And I have a, a shape and all the button in the shape, okay? But I agree with the boss, if you don't know FileMaker well, this is a nightmare because you have no idea what's going on, okay? So this is the how to go back to the, it's one. You put one, it will, it will be always hidden, always. But, but even if it's, it is hidden, right? I don't see it. It's there, but I don't see it. But here I have a button that says, go to objects to the pop-up, right? Even if it's hidden with a go to object, it shows even hidden. You didn't know that, right? But I don't care. It looks great. I like it. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and with that, I think we're heading towards wrapping up, right, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, you know, to, so tomorrow we are going to look about the. So we. Uh, we, uh, not it's Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. Yes. Yeah, Friday. Friday. So, so today we we look up, we saw about the this uh, UI stuff here, but tomorrow we do the behavior because we need a behavior here. The behavior is this: is say, okay, if I click here, I click here, I click here, and I click outside. I don't say uh, apply. That means, oh, I don't, I don't want this. I don't want. This. So I change this, but I don't apply. I don't apply, I go outside. And if I come back, it go back where it was. If I change, right? If I change and I apply my new defaults, if I go there, right, back, it will be those two. If I change and I go outside, it come back there. So we're going to see that tomorrow. Yeah, uh, the the popover. Yeah, little. Yeah, the, uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow with the popover a little bit. Uh, 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 Friday. I uh, will have more time Friday, so Friday we can do. It's a, uh, you know, it's a uh, it's it's a fun uh, fun webinar. Let's say, uh, you know. Cool. I think that would be fun. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Thank you very much, and uh, see you on Friday. Yep. Bye bye.
individual up here who uh, may be a FileMaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir, 